Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sent dire podcast warning, do to be new Prince Edward exclamation mark. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been warned their new Spotify podcast venture must not embarrass the royal family as it will face intense scrutiny, it has been claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they have signed a lucrative deal with Spotify to host and produce podcasts that will focus on different perspectives and voices. The announcement came a few months after the couple signed a Netflix deal to produce a range of programs and series, said to be worth £112 million. Their new projects come after they dramatically stepped down as senior royals from the royal family in March. Philip Murphy Director Institute of Commonwealth Studies at the University of London, drew comparisons to Harry's uncle Prince Edward, who also stepped into the business world in the 1990s, but gave it up a few years later. He also warned the couple to make sure they carry out their new projects competently as other royals have been involved with disastrous ventures captured by the media in the past. He told Express.co.uk. The obvious precedent is Prince Edward who founded his own company, Ardent Productions, in 1993 and ran it until 2002 when he stepped down as its joint managing director. The lesson from Prince Edward's company is that the Sussex's business activities will be under intense media scrutiny, so they need to be very careful that they are run competently and don't do anything to embarrass the rest of the family. Ardent Productions became a bit of a joke. It was never financially successful and in 2001 it was even accused over breaking the agreement with the media over royal privacy when a film crew from the company allegedly tried to shoot footage of Prince William at St Andrews University. I don't think it was a coincidence that Edward stepped away from it shortly after that. I suspect Meghan will turn out to be a far more savvy and successful businesswoman. The Earl of Wessex had his own television production firm called Ardent. But it turned sour when he found himself in a bitter feud with his brother Prince Charles when one of his crews was found filming the Duke of Cambridge when he was studying at university despite a request for media to leave him alone. The Queen's oldest grandson Peter Phillips, who is not an HRH and does not carry out royal duties, also hit the headlines when he appeared in an advert for Milk in China. The Duke and Duchess revealed their new project by releasing the trailer featuring them both chatting and joking with each other. Meghan said, This is also a moment to celebrate kindness and compassion, something we saw in so many places this year, and which will underlie everything you hear from Archie Will Audio. She said about their first podcast, due for release during the Christmas period.